Hi everyone, Wally Nichols here with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending May the 21st, 2021. Well, I thought we'd uh, take another look at crypto this week since uh, the, the markets had a lot of volatility, really ended up only going sideways, not a lot of new action there, just a lot of noise uh, really as they positioned for an upstart and a, a, a new rally next week. But uh, what we saw today uh, in China, again, as they did in 2015, Cracking down on 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 crypto, uh, Bitcoin specifically, uh, China has developed its own uh, cryptocurrency that it's going to be using uh, at some point as it's a, a centralized currency. Anyway, a, a, a cryptocurrency authorized by its central bank to the exclusion of uh, the other cryptos that are out there, heavily uh, leaning on them because of their energy and efficiency. You know, when we develop quantum, when they if, when they transfer for over into quantum computing that will resolve the carbon footprint uh, problems that uh, crypto mining has with it but uh, anyway China's cracking down on it. the United States is cracking down on it they come out with new regulations saying that you're going to have to report transactions ten thousand dollars or above uh, to FinCEN just as um, uh, you do uh, any other as you do cash and uh, and then the Fed the United States Fed uh, Federal Reserve is going to uh, release a white paper very soon on its take on crypto. So regulation is coming into that area. They're going to really start intensifying scrutiny on crypto. I, you know, I, I went through it last week. It's, it's got crime problems. It's got so many uh, problems in terms of uh, uh, the types of, of, of things within a, a, a financial systems that led to the 2008 financial crisis. Uh, so. It's not good to, to compete, uh, you, you know, uh, as, as a decentralized version or, or non-fiat currency. Better view the thing more like a credit card, like, like Visa, MasterCard, or as a method of, of, of that type of payment. You're not really cr printing money. You're not really creating a store of value. But really uh, is, is the whole aspect that I wrote about in 20. 17 and 2018 in workbooks that I handed out to college uh, community college classes uh, that I was teaching it was very well received in terms of using it bit uh, crypto simply as the blockchain technology that it is instead of what they're trying to turn it into uh, the better applications and this is what the, you know I wrote in the article then uh, so, so three, four years ago, you had your major banks, your Wall Street institutions, using it as accounting, uh, you know, trying to work that into accounting systems, so that you had ledgers that uh, that that never, you know, is a permanent record of every transaction that ever occurred. It's it's fantastic for that. Ledger systems that are important for chain of custody type uh, uh, issues that that can't be. Um, you know, very robust against fraudulent manipulation. That type of thing is where the blockchain technology and probably there's just uncounted once we actually understand all of the, the, the implications of blockchain, just countless uh, opportunities for it to be used as a software application or in an accounting system, that type of thing as a service, as opposed to what it's been uh, distorted uh, in my view uh, to be used. So. That's that's a positive side for blockchain uh, and, 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 and our models that allow everybody to trade. That's the kind of companies that we that we've traded in our crypto model um, as opposed to the accredited investor model for um, the coin type. I wish they would have never tagged the word coin to the end of it. It, it would be a, a lot better, easier thing to talk about or currency. Just call it crypto. Um, anyway, so that's a wrap on, on, on crypto, uh, take two, and uh, this week the markets, as I said, if you need some help in navigating this nonsense, then uh, we'll see, uh, you know, reach out and, and, and touch base with me. We'll see next week if they can, they didn't do it today, I really thought that they would do it uh, today. I uh, really couldn't get over the, the, stay on the top side of the trade in, in order to signal, you know, here we go for a new rally. Uh, maybe that'll happen next week. Uh, we're fully hedged. I, if you if you uh, want help, reach out to me. Remember to like and subscribe to help me share my passion for wealth advisory services with as many people as possible. I'll see you again next week. It's going to be a good one.